Hey y'all, Taylor by Debbie here. This week we are gonna take this adorable mermaid frame from the Dollar Tree and we're gonna turn it into a wreath. We're gonna be using some Deco Poly mesh, some pipe cleaners, some plastic mesh that I got in the embroidery section at Walmart, some scissors, some zip ties. We're gonna be using my diagonal cutters. Of course, the mermaid wreath frame. And y'all, I'm using a wood burning tool and that is what we're going to use to cut our poly deco mesh with. We're going to open up our mesh. All right, very important when you cut this using a wood burning tool that you use a tempered glass mat. Now I'm going to cut these in 10 inch squares. This is a 10 inch by 30 foot roll and I'm going to mark off 10 inches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm going to come over here to this 4 inch mark so I'll know where and I'm just using a marker on this tempered glass mat so I know how far over to go without having to look at it every time. So here's my 10 inch section. Okay. I'm going to lay down my mesh. I'm going to move my wood burning tool over and I just have the chisel tip on there and y'all these get very hot. You have to be very careful when you use these wood burning tools. Okay, so I'm just going to set that on the little stand that it came with. All right, we're going to turn over this mesh and I'm going to roll it this way. I'm going to lay this down. We're just going to use our crescent diagonal cutter to hold that in down and then I'm going to come over here to the 14 inch mark and I'm going to take that chisel tip and I'm going to try to stay between the squares going down this mesh okay and what that's doing it's cutting it and it's also heat sealing it let me put this down over here it heat seals those edges so that it will be less likely to ravel. So I'm just going to go through and cut. I'll show you again. I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to pick this up, come over here to the 14 inch mark, and we're just going to cut right down, staying down the, the row on this mesh. Okay, and that just heat seals that edge nicely. And then I'm gonna turn these over and stack them over here to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this whole roll of mesh and then I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, next we're going to take the white mesh and our mermaid wreath form here from the Dollar Tree. Just going to take a pair of scissors and we're going to cut it a little bit big because we can always trim some more of it off if we need to. So I'm just going to cut around the shape. So now we have our mermaid plastic cut. So I'm gonna turn it over and we're gonna take some zip ties. And these are just the ones from the Dollar Tree. These are eight inches. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to start here where we've got that nice factory edge. And I'm just gonna go through and attach our zip ties around the frame. I'm going to show you how we're going to make these nice little rounded petals to put on our wreath frame. So we've got all our mesh that's been cut and we're going to take a piece 
And what we wanna do is take our factory edges and put them on each side. Then we wanna fold it up till you get the point up here. You don't have to worry about getting it exactly um, covered. We're gonna pull this down. And then you're just gonna take this corner and kind of pull it down. Take this corner and kind of slide it over, pull it down. And then right here, you're just gonna kind of take this part and mash it down. You're gonna mash it down and then scrunch it right across there, okay? Right across that part. Making sure you get all those little pieces in there. Then you're gonna take your zip tie and zip it right kind of across where you've gathered all that mesh right there. And that's gonna make a nice rounded little petal right here, okay? They might look a little bit different um, when you turn it over. Let me show you, this is upside down. Okay, then we're gonna cut about a half of an inch across the bottom. And then you can discard that extra. And when you turn it over, you'll see you kind of have this little area that's kind of poofing up. And then the rest is indented on each side of it. And we're gonna be putting these all over our wreath frames. I'm gonna show you again. Factory edges on each side. You're gonna pull the corner to corner. You know, you try to line up the sides the best you can. Pull that out, then you're just gonna take this corner with your thumb, slide it around, then you're gonna take this corner with your finger, slide it around, and you're gonna have these two little things right here poofing up. Okay, you just kinda wanna push this down, and then push that down, and then scrunch right across it. So on this side, you're gonna have a poof up, a poof up, and an indention going down. Put your zip tie across to where the bottom of those little pointy parts are like a half an inch down. And then you're gonna pull that tight. Clip the zip tie off. And then you're gonna cut this mesh about a half an inch down. And there's your finished petal. So we're gonna make a bunch of these and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we've made quite a few of these. I'm not sure exactly how many we're gonna need, so I'm gonna stop making those for now. And now I wanna show you the petal that we're gonna do for her tail. I'm gonna do the same thing with our factory edges to each side. We're gonna fold it in half and try to get the point and the sides as even as you can get. Again, we're gonna pull this part down, but then we're gonna scrunch in the middle, and then we're gonna scrunch three times over here, and then scrunch three times over here till we kind of get that all bunched up right there in the middle. And then you're just gonna kind of fold it over till we have our little petal, and you're gonna take your zip tie and tie it around the bottom. Hold on to this with one hand and zip it with the other. Leaving, you know, a little more than a half an inch, at least a half an inch on the bottom. And we're gonna trim that off. All right, and to attach these to our wreath frame, we're gonna be using some pipe cleaners. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come underneath here and I'm gonna measure about two inches about two inches up from the bottom of that frame. So we're gonna go down, skip two holes, and then go back up. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and load some pipe cleaners going across, and we want them pretty close together. Just gonna skip a couple holes, put one, then we'll skip a couple holes. Skip a couple, come right here. Skip two holes, come up here. So we've got three loaded in there now. Skip a couple holes, go down. Skip a couple holes and come back up. 
just like that. So right now we're gonna have four of these petals across the bottom. They're gonna be overlapping each other. Skip a couple holes, put one in there. And then skip two holes, come back up. And I guess we'll do one more here over on the edge. come back up right through here okay so now I've got these pipe cleaners loaded and we're going to start from the inside in the center I'm going to go ahead and lay this one down I'm going to take this pipe cleaner and go below the zip tie and I'm going to zip tie I mean I'm going to twist one two three four times we're going to snip this off and just kind of fold that down beside where that petal is, okay? Then we're going to do our next one. And you can take the zip tie and just kind of turn that to the side so it won't be sticking up. It'll be kind of down into the wreath. All right, now we're going to take these next two and we are going to overlap the middle one we're going to overlap and then this side will overlap that way okay so that that one's going to be on the bottom on both sides we want to pull this up to it's kind of even across the bottom go above or like down below that zip tie pull it tight twist one two three four trim that off fold that over Okay, we're going to open these. Now we're going to go ahead and make our petals as we go. We've got the bottom of our mermaid tail wreath done. Isn't that pretty? Okay, now we had six here. I think we're only going to need four for this next section. So let's preload our next set. Okay, this is about an inch. So we want to go up to about right here and put in our pipe cleaners going across here. Let's see, y'all, we might only be able to get three. I think we're not gonna skip. I think we won't skip any holes in between this time. See if we can get more. See if we can get four. What in the world? That pipe cleaner had a tail on it, y'all. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna come up through here. We're not gonna skip any holes in between the pipe cleaners. We're gonna put them side by side right here. See how I didn't skip a hole right there? And I think we can get four if we do that. Okay. Let's come up right through. I think I'm only going to skip one hole here. Bring that pipe cleaner up because I really do want to get four pieces of mesh on that tail. And then we'll come right up, let's see, through the next hole and come up through here. Okay, so we've got four pipe cleaners across this part. So set that over here.
Okay, so now all of those pipe cleaners that we had under here are nicely covered and we have a really pretty fish tail for our mermaid. So now we're gonna put this this way and we're gonna start loading in our uh, scales. Okay, and these are gonna get loaded on the wreath like so. We're gonna overlap them just like we did but each layer that we go up, we're gonna we're gonna load a little bit more. So on this bottom one, we're gonna start out with three. Okay, so now we have all of our poly deco mesh onto our wreath frame and we're going to do the top part of the wreath. Okay, for the very top, what I've done is just evenly spaced out six pipe cleaners across the top. And then I took a roll of burlap that you can buy at Walmart. It's like five inches and it comes uh, 30 feet, I believe. And I cut um, six pieces, 13 inches long, and then I fold it over each end and just tacked it down with hot glue. So they end up being about 12 inches long. We're gonna fold this in half. And we're just gonna scrunch across the top. And then we're gonna place one of these little bundles in each one of the pipe cleaners going across the very top of the wreath. To do is take some of this mesh ribbon that you can buy at the Dollar Tree and this is like an ivory color it kind of matches the ivory in my mesh and I think what I want to do is glue it here on the back just take some hot glue here And just press that down. And wrap it around the top of this wreath. Like so. I think I'll cut it and glue this piece. Just 
just glue that down here to the back on each side. Okay, and I'm gonna pull it down over this burlap right here. I'm gonna fold this next grouping of mesh in half. And we're gonna glue it down back here. Press it down. And we're gonna take this folded over mesh ribbon and bring it across where our pipe cleaners are, just trying to cover it a little bit better. Let's pull this down where it's kind of split in the half. Okay. And then I'm gonna cut that and press it down here in the back. Almost kind of looks like seaweed or a fishing net, you know, something along those lines. Okay, but by folding that in half, it's kind of covering up those pipe cleaners better. Got some sand dollars and uh, some starfish that came from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to go ahead and open these packages. Just cutting that netting off and opening this up and we're going to see how we might be able to attach some of these to this wreath across the top here. I'm thinking maybe a couple sand dollars and a starfish in the middle or something, something along those lines. I just think that would finish this off nicely. Okay, now the starfish, we could come through and make it look like it's caught in a net, sort of like that. And then we could put some glue underneath that and kind of glue it down and that would that would almost make it look like the starfish is caught in the net. So I'm going to put a, a some glue up underneath this. And we're going to mash it down right here. Okay, let's scoot it over just a little bit. Stick the starfish kind of through the netting a little bit. So instead of a bow, I was thinking we could we could put some of these along here. Now I'm not sure that hot glue is going to be sufficient to hold these on because they are quite heavy. So we're probably going to have to use a little bit of twine or something to secure these on. All right, I think some of this white twine will be good to secure those down with. So I'm just going to cut a long piece and put it through these top holes. And then I'll go through this side. Kind of like that. And then we're going to sew it. We're going to sew it on using this yarn needle. So we're going to go down through the burlap right here. Pull that down like so. And that, that'll kind of blend in better. And then we'll go down right through here, like so. Okay, then 
we're going to turn this over. And we're going to take and come up through the burlap right about here. Whoop. Okay. Let's lay this back down. Pull those strings snug. Now let's turn it over. I think what I'm going to do is come right here and just bring it through that burlap here on the back side, just like that, to kind of secure that down. Okay, on this side. Now we've got that top side nice and snug, and we're going to do the same thing with this one. Just take it and come down here on the burlap, go under it, and come up through there. All right, then we're going to pull these snug and tie them in a knot. I think that'd be the easiest thing to do. Just pull that snug, tie this several times in a knot. to secure the top part. Okay, then we're gonna take this string, come over here and find out about where we need to stick it through to come through this top part of the burlap, right there. Come through here. Pull that string through. And then we're gonna go back down. Going kind of in the same area, bringing it through the back. Okay, so we've got that string secure now. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Using our yarn needle. Come over here on this side. We're gonna find about the area on the back where we need to go through to come through that hole right there. Pull it through and then go right over the edge. String's kind of coming unraveled, so we'll just twist it back. Okay, then we're gonna go down under there almost right where we came out. Poke it back through and pull it. Okay, then we can take these two strings and tie them together. I'm gonna take and twist, tie it and then twist that knot. Okay, then we're gonna tie it several times in a knot. Secure it back here. Snip that off. Just put a little bit of glue on that knot to keep it from coming out. Okay. Then we can flip it back over. Now this is secure because the glue's good in the middle and then that one's right there. And we're gonna do the same thing with this one over here. And we can turn it over and look at it. And y'all, I'm happy with the way that looks. And there you go, here is our mermaid wreath. I hope y'all will give this a try. If you do, please tag me in a photo. Um, send me a um, email with a photo of your finished project because I would love to see how yours comes out. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you'll always know when I put up new videos. 
and drop me a comment down below and let me know if you're going to give this a try. Thank y'all so much for watching and have a blessed day.